come to save the day. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. Okay, we're back, and what we're going to talk about today, this is the end of week two of this bathroom remodel. Just kind of want to go over where we are in the rough stages, explain what we're doing and, and how we're doing some of this stuff. And uh, initially, we had two inches of concrete on the floor, two inches of concrete on the wall, and that's where all the tile was. And I think we can probably put a picture in somewhere around here kind of show you that. And that, that was the beginning of this bathroom. So the original was from the 1950s. Uh, we tore out all the concrete. We got everything back to the studs so we could update the electric, update the plumbing, and uh, get everything done correctly. So we also had a tub here. We tore that out. We had a closet and a couple closets in here. We wanted to make the bathroom a little bit larger. So we stole a closet from another bedroom. We store, uh, took out the uh, linen cabinet that was in here closet or linen closet that was in here and uh, we're putting in some other cabinetry which obviously you'll see a little bit later so let's kind of go over uh, some of the things that we've done and uh, we'll start with the electric that we took out there was a closet light over here and we had to cut the pipes out and re relocate everything we've got rough ends for two new can lights and then also our medicine cabinet is going to have a light uh, we've added uh, all the switches are right in here and we're also going to have a GFI outlet for the sink area. There will be one vanity sink with two, uh, with two linen cabinets uh, off to the right. So there's also one switch on the outside of the bathroom because we really didn't have a good location to uh, put that. So you have one switch on the outside to come in. You'll be able to turn that light off in here and then also add the other lights. You've got two lights in the shower, two over the vanity plus the mirror. And uh, that's kind of what we've got going on electrically. When we go downstairs, we'll show you the steam unit, and also we have a 220 circuit for that. When you run your bathroom circuit in here, you need a 20 amp circuit just for the GFI outlet. So uh, we're bringing in a new circuit for that also. Because the age of the home, originally this was all just tied in with the other bedrooms that are around in this area. Okay, so the client requested a steam unit for the shower. So we've mounted that down in the basement. Uh, it seemed the most convenient right underneath the bathroom. Uh, you can see we've got all the water lines run, with drain lines set up. The electric is already run in. That required a 220 circuit, uh, 30 amp. So that's all piped in with a disconnect. And then the other side of this is you also need a drain. So we were able to come off the drain stack, and we've got a drain right here. So this will all get drained into it. And so you just build a shelf, put the steam unit on here, and then this will eventually go up to the controller in the wall, and it'll be ready to rock and roll. Next up, we relocated the, uh, the vanity, and we had to rework the vanity location, the drains, and the, the water lines. That's got done there. We relocated the drain for the tub, and we now have it set up for a shower. And let me see if we can move this around to show that. Yeah, we'll be able to show you that. And then also, uh, so we have the drains redone. We had to move the vent lines. And, and we got that all redirected. We have uh, the steam unit, and that's located in the basement for uh, just to be able to locate it properly. And then we've got that vented out, and that will vent into this into the shower stall. We have a temperature control. Then we have a on-off diverter uh, that will turn on and off uh, the different things that we've got running. And then we have another controller that will control turn it from either the shower head to the rain head or to the handheld and then we located the handheld next to the bench in the shower that way if you're sitting down you want to cool off or let's say you you know you've you've got a a, a broken ankle and you really can't stand up you could sit down and then also shower and, and do all that stuff sitting on the bench so a little bit more convenient and also in, in case something else happens that you can't stand in the shower, you can still sit down and, and, uh, and get cleaned up. So that's kind of what we've got going on with that. And then, uh, let's see, what else we want to talk about? 
Um, what's going on next week? Uh, this upcoming week, you, we're going to be insulating the ceiling, insulating the walls. And then uh, we've also, because this house is heated with copper tubing running through the plaster ceiling, I'll say that again. It's copper tubing running through the plaster ceiling. That's how this house is heated. Very strange. I've only run into two or three of these homes in the past 30, 35 years that I've been working in the Chicago area. But they do exist. So we're going to have to relocate some of that tubing and get it out of the way because when we removed the soffit over the old vanity, the, the copper tubing was running through there. So we'll get that recorrected. And then we have to put in the bath fan and get that vented outside and uh, that's all the stuff that'll be happening next week. And then we'll hopefully by the end of next week have some uh, drywall going up and uh, the floor going down uh, so that we can build up the floor and get it ready for tile. Other thing that's going on is that we ripped out all the tile in the hallway and that will be happening this week also where we're going to put wood in and uh, take it back to really the way it should have been in the beginning. So hopefully that gives you a kind of good overview of what we're doing here. And hopefully you're watching this. Uh, we're running it live, and I know last week my plumber didn't want to be on YouTube, so <laughs> we had a, he kept hanging his hat up on it, so we don't have much uh, footage from last week. But moving forward, now that he's gone, you'll be able to see this and be able to watch this day to day and just kind of tune in and see what's going on. So if the guys are here, the camera will be on, and you'll be able to see the process of how this is all going together. And it uh, should be fun and interesting. So with that... Make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell, and uh, tune in next time right here on Mighty House. I come to save the, day. the Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. All right, we're back end of week three here in the bathroom remodel and I just kind of want to go over some of the things we've done. Uh, we'll put a picture maybe up here or over here. I'm not sure where somebody's going to put it. Of the uh, foam insulation that we put behind the walls. So uh, right after the framing was done, all the electrical and plumbing was completed, we foam insulated the exterior walls and the ceiling, especially over the steam shower. So that way uh, there's not a condensation issue. We steam also sprayed the steam walls too so that everything in the steam shower is sealed up. So that way it'll make it nice and tight. You don't have to worry about any condensation in the walls from running the steam unit. The other thing we've done is got all the dura rock on the floor and that all the dura rock, half inch dura rock went down with a thin set. So you spread your thin set over the subfloor, you put the dura rock on there and you screw that down. So now that becomes a good tile base uh, for, for your flooring. The other thing we've got done is the shower seat. And you'll see that um, toward the shower base that's pitched all towards the center of the drain. And uh, with that, I think that's pretty much where we are today. We still have the electrics roughed in, all the plumbing is roughed in, all that was wrapped up in, this, in that drywall. So it's all taped out. The next step here is going to start putting the tile in the shower. So at the end of next week, or if you're watching it throughout the week here, you'll see tile going up, tile going on the, on the shower base and on the floors. So those will be the next thing. And that will probably take pretty close to the week to get it all wrapped up. So with that, we'll sign off and say uh, see you next time. I come to save the day. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. Okay, here we are at the end of another week uh, working on this bathroom. A couple things that we've gotten done so far is the slabs for the shower seat, slab for the threshold that got installed and that enabled us to tile around those areas and finish that all off. Uh, we've gotten the cabinetry installed. We also grouted the floor, finished grouting the walls, the ceiling. That's all been done. Uh, let's see, we've also ordered the shower door, they came and measured for that. Because it's a steam unit, this is gonna be completely enclosed with glass all the way to the ceiling and to the floor. So uh, that's gonna be a special order and that'll probably take about two weeks to come in. The vanity top, they've scribed for that. And so that's also gonna take about another week and a half to two weeks for that to come in. 
Once we have the rest of those pieces, we can get that installed. We also have the medicine cabinet in and we trimmed out all the electrics. So all the lights are working, outlets are working and everything like that. So it is really close. I don't know much will happen next week. We'll just probably get the job cleaned up and then we'll wait for these last few pieces to come in. So over the next couple of weeks, we should have this all taken care of. So with that, thanks for joining us and uh, maybe we'll see you next week. Maybe we won't. We'll see what's going on. I come to save the day. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. All right, we're back. We're wrapping up the bathroom and just want to kind of give you a quick tour of what it is that you have now. We do have old pictures and hopefully we can uh, drop some of those in and show you what this bathroom used to look like. But for now, this is where we ended up. We've got new storage uh, for towels and, and linens and things like that. A nice large vanity, a lighted mirror, medicine cabinet, new toilet. The big part of this is we took out part of a closet and extended and made the shower a little bit larger. So now we have a steam unit with a regular shower head, a rain head, and then also the handheld. So when you're sitting down at the shower, you can also use that, uh, that handheld to take a shower if you wanted to. The special feature that the uh, client wanted here today is also the steam unit. So we have a Mr. Steam system in here and we can show you what that looks like down in the basement where it's mounted. All you see up here is the, the controller on the wall and you'll hear it start to gurgle and steam will start coming out and you'll have a nice steam shower. That also has a, uh, a Wi-Fi connected and you'll put, they'll put an app on your phone and then you can actually be starting the steam unit as you're coming home so that that way once you get home your steam's ready to go and, and you're, you're off and running. So I think at this point we should just say keep it square and level until we do the next one.